BMW just fired the starting gun on its new Klasse era, and the first shot isn't a concept, it's this, the all-new iX3, a clean-sheet electric SUV promising up to an estimated 400 miles of range, 400 kilowatt charging, and a brainy new electronics platform that rethinks how a BMW feels, drives, and updates itself over time. Here's the headline stuff. This iX3 isn't a reworked gas X3 with a battery. It's the first production new Class A model on a dedicated EV architecture, built in Hungary from 2026, with US deliveries set for mid-year and a target starting price around $60,000 for the iX3 50X drive dual motor version with 463 horsepower and a zero to 60 in an estimated 4.7 seconds. The pack uses BMW's 6th Gen E-Drive with new cylindrical lithium-ion cells and 800-volt hardware. Translation, denser energy, faster charging, and lower losses than BMW's Gen 5 tech, which the company says cuts drivetrain energy losses by 40% and drops weight 10% while also trimming costs by 20%. Ambitious claims we'll want to see validated in third-party testing. Let's talk charging, because this spec turns heads. Peak DC at 400 kilowatts, 10 to 80% in 21 minutes, and about 230 miles added in 10 minutes, if the charger can deliver it and conditions are ideal. That's top tier on paper, past today's 350 kilowatt caps at many sites. The iX3 includes NACS from the factory for access to the supercharger network and a CCS adapter, which is the right move for real world road tripping in the US. Also notable, built-in bi-directional capability, V to L to run devices, V to H to buffer a home, and V to G for grid participation. Features rivals often lock behind trims or timelines. Now the caveat, thermal management and sustained charge curves will decide whether those numbers hold outside the brochure, especially in winter. Powertrain is an interesting mix, an electrically excited synchronous motor at the rear and an asynchronous motor up front. No rare earths at the front, no permanent magnets at the rear, and a structural battery pack integrated into the body for stiffness and weight distribution. BMW quotes a near even split at 48.6 to 51.4 with a low center of gravity thanks to the slim pack. On paper, that sets up classic BMW balance with the promise that 98% of everyday braking is regen only and a soft stop calibration designed to make blended braking feel seamless. If it works as advertised, that solves the most common EV complaint inconsistent brake pedal feel near a stop. Design? It's the debut of BMW's new language. Simpler surfacing, strong stance, squarish wheel arches, and a new four-eyed light signature. The vertical kidney outline is back, integrated and optionally illuminated, while the rear lamps layer depth into the familiar L shape. It's cleaner than recent shock value BMWs, but the kidneys remain a talking point. At least the aerodynamics are serious. Drag coefficient quoted at 0.24, helped by standard 20-inch aero wheels. Size-wise, it's classic X3 footprint, 188.3 inches long, 74.6 wide, 64.4 tall, with a long 114.1-inch wheelbase. Cargo runs 30.4 to 65.0 cubic feet, plus a small 2 cubic foot frunk, handy for cables, not weekend getaways. Inside, BMW's going big on screens, but in a different way. Panoramic vision projects across the lower windshield on a blacked out band, putting primary info in the driver's sight line, paired with a 17.9 inch central display and an optional 3D head up display. The goal is less eyes off road time, not more pixels for the sake of it. There are still physical controls for core functions like wipers, defrost, hazards, and the parking brake, 
which is refreshingly sensible in an age of all-touch everything. Materials include Vaganza and M Performtex with optional merino leather. The seats look more lounge than lab, but with long-haul support baked in. That's the promise anyway. Under the skin is a new electronics architecture with four high-performance super brains handling driving dynamics, automated driving, infotainment, and comfort systems. BMW says processing speeds jump, wiring gets 30% lighter, and even the fuses go digital with smart e-fuses to optimize power states. The Heart of Joy controller orchestrates drivetrain, regen, brakes, and steering for quicker responses and more cohesive behavior. The Pitch is a car that feels smaller and more precise than its size suggests, with consistent cornering behavior and less need for mid-corner corrections. If that's true, it could be this platform's secret sauce and a differentiator versus the competent but sometimes clinical feel of rivals like the Model Y and Ionic 5N derived systems in more affordable trims. Driver assistance gets an update too. Standard kit includes mitigations for forward collisions, pedestrian detection, blind spot monitoring, and adaptive cruise with lane centering. Highway Assistant allows hands-off at up to 85 miles per hour on supported roads when conditions allow, with a new eye-activated lane change. Glance at the mirror to accept a suggested pass, and the car will signal and move when safe. That's a clever way to keep the driver in the loop without thumb-twiddling stock games. Parking Assistant Plus can fully automate parallel and perpendicular moves with AI-aided space detection. The symbiotic steering and braking concept, where the driver can subtly nudge the system without disengaging, feels like the right middle ground between nannying and neglect. The digital layer is thick. For better and worse, Operating System X brings a reworked UI, quick select widgets, a more natural voice assistant, and deeper My Modes customization, including a silent mode that dials back digital clutter. There's video and gaming via TiVo-powered apps, Disney+, Plus, YouTube, and Air Console, locked to park as expected, and Zoom video calls that drop to audio when driving. BMW Digital Premium bundles data, security features like an anti-theft and parking collision recorder, a drive recorder, and remote inside 3D views via the app. Over-the-air updates get faster and more automatic, with BMW leveraging its massive OTA fleet experience. It's comprehensive, but the sheer scope raises the usual questions, subscription creep, and feature gating post-purchase. To BMW's credit, many features remain bookable as upgrades with trials, which at least lets buyers avoid paying for what they won't use. Now the questions a buyer should ask. That 400-mile estimate is based on preliminary internal testing to EPA procedures. Real-world numbers depend on pack capacity, weight, tire choice, and weather, none of which are fully published yet. Usable KWH is still TBA in the spec. The 400 kilowatt peak charge sounds future-proofed, but much of today's infrastructure tops out lower, and cars rarely hold peak for long. The ride handling compromise will be critical. BMW touts comfort and lightness over headline lap times, which is the right call for a family EV. But the standard single-piston floating calipers front and rear may raise eyebrows for repeated high-speed stops in a 2-plus ton SUV. We'll need instrumented tests to see how fade-resistant the system is and how well Regen shoulders the work before the friction brakes jump in. Now, the questions a buyer should ask. That 400-mile estimate is based on preliminary internal testing to EPA procedures. Real-world numbers depend on pack capacity, weight, tire choice, and weather, none of which are fully published yet. Usable kilowatt hours is still TBA in the spec. The 400 kilowatt peak charge sounds future-proofed, but much of today's infrastructure tops out lower, and cars rarely hold peak for long. 
the ride handling compromise will be critical. BMW touts comfort and lightness over headline lap times, which is the right call for a family EV. But the standard single-piston floating calipers front and rear may raise eyebrows for repeated high-speed stops in a 2-plus ton SUV. We'll need instrumented tests to see how fade-resistant the system is and how well Regen shoulders the work before the friction brakes jump in. Spec detail for the Curious, 165 horsepower and 188 pound-feet from the front motor, 322 horsepower and 321 pound-feet at the rear, for a 463 horsepower combined total and 476 pound-feet. Single-speed drive with fixed ratios, steering at 2.8 turns lock-to-lock, lock, 0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds claimed, and 130 miles per hour capped. Ground clearance sits at 6.9 inches, turning diameter at 39.7 feet, and tracks are over 64 inches front and rear. The drag number at 0.24 is strong for a square-shouldered SUV. Towing is up to 4,400 pounds with the optional hitch, which is useful in the real world, especially paired with the route planner's charging aware guidance and battery preconditioning for DC fast stops. Verdict for now, this iX3 looks like the most cohesive EV BMW has pitched yet. Lighter touch design, serious efficiency hardware, credible charging claims, and a driver-focused control strategy that could restore the brand's dynamic edge in an electric age. The big variables, usable battery size, curb weight, charging curve shape, and real EPA range will decide whether it merely competes or genuinely leads. If those land, the 60K opening gambit undercuts some premium rivals while offering tech breadth they can't match today. If they don't, well, Porsche and Mercedes are sharpening their pencils, and Tesla's network advantage is harder to erase than a line of code. What would make or break it for you? Is it the charging speed in your area, the interior technology, or the way it drives? Share your thoughts below and subscribe.